What's up guys? Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development. And today we're going to start our tutorials on Love2D. Love2D is a free open source game engine on Mac, Windows, and Linux. It's freaking awesome. It is super amazing. It's a great gateway into programming. If you've never programmed before, it's a great way to start. And if you have, it's a great game engine to, to use. Um, so, before, like, before we get started, let me just say that a lot of the things I say in these tutorials, in this tutorial actually, might not make sense until later on in these tutorials. But I promise by the end of them, everything will make sense and you'll be an experienced programmer with Love2D. And let me tell you, when you are experienced in one game engine or scripting language of programming, it's easier, it's a lot easier to learn another language. So like if you learn Love2D and you master it, it'll be really easy to learn like let's say Flash or Java. Um, so it's just a good thing to get under your belt and th I honestly in my opinion this is a great way to start. And a couple of facts about Love2D. Um, to run Love Games, there you have to download the Love2D game engine from their site which is Love2D.org. Um, you, when you like when you have your friends or anything download your game, we're gonna package it so that love to do will already be in there so they don't have to go and download it. But um other than that, one thing is that love to do has an awesome forms. So if you have any questions that I can't answer because you know I'm just so popular and my emails just like filled to the brim with questions. Um and fan mail of course. But um you can post it on the forums and they're really cool guys and they'll help you out. And yeah, so, before we get serious with the coding and programming, let me just say that you're going to need a text editor. And I use Text Wrangler. They're, the default text editor for a Mac is a text edit, who could have guessed? And the default one for Windows is Notepad. I'm not sure what the default one for Linux is, but it doesn't matter what you use, as long as you're comfortable. I decided to get Text Wrangler because I am I really like it. It's really nice. It's free, too. But, um... Yeah, so let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do is, I'm going to make a new folder. You guys should probably do this too. I don't know why I said that. Um, anywhere you want, as long as you can remember it. And you just call it whatever. Inside of this folder, we're going to be keeping our game files. So I'm just going to call mine game. And there's nothing inside of it. Who could have guessed? Open up your text editor. And we're going to make a new document. So, la la la. Uh, 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 I'm just gonna apple in. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Never mind. Okay, text editor. Oh my god. Text editor, new file. Save it as main.lua into that file that we just made. Um, M A I N dot L U A. And let me explain this real quick. Um, I'll start with the Lua part. Um, whenever you have a file on your computer, this is. I'm pretty sure this is only for Mac, I don't know. It will have, if it's a specific file type, it'll have a dot and then something after. So, like, in this case, it's dot Lua. If you have a movie or a video, like right here, it'll be dot M-O-V, which stands for movie. But whatever's before that is the name of it. So, the one before this, the name of it would be Love2D Tutorial 1. And then the type of file would be M-O-V. So, movie file. Um... So this is called main, it is a Lua file. The main part, the reason it's called main, it has to be called main, by the way. Um, in most programming languages, or scripting languages, or whatever, um, game engines, it, you have to have, you usually have to have something somewhere called main. It could be a method or function, which I'll explain in a little bit. It could be a file, in the, like in this case. Um, what it is, it's usually everything in your game is going to revolve around it or everything is going to be inside of it. In this case, everything's going to revolve around it. It's going to be a the main part of your game, obviously. Um, as is implied. Uh, but it has a couple of basic functions that you have to have in it to run your game. And a function, if you're an experienced programmer, a function is the same as a method. Method equals function, function equals method. Um, but what it is, a function is basically, in this case, a command for Love2D. It's going to tell Love2D what to do. And there are two basic, sen like, kind of modes, I guess you could say. There are two senses of a function. 
One, you have to describe the function. You have to define the function. You have to describe what the command for love2d is. You have to describe what the, the function is. And then the next one is you have to run the function. You have to use the function. You have to call it. You have to make sure that... Because you have to describe it, and then you get to use it. Um, basic, on a basic scale. But there are pre-made functions, which is what most of the, for the most part, main.lua is going to be built around. Um, so we're going to need to use three main pre-made functions that are going to give us our basic skeleton of our game. The first of these three is called love.load. And we are going to make our first function right now. And since, by the way, it is a pre-made function, we don't have to describe it because it's already been described or defined or whatever you want to say. I'm going to use define since that's way cooler. Um, um, but, so, the, the, these three main functions are going to be a lot different than most other functions. So, it might be a little confusing when, I start, when we start making our own functions, but for now, just copy down what I'm typing and I'll explain in a second. Function love.load parentheses parentheses and okay okay now let me explain this right now function love.load parentheses parentheses space at the end function I just described what that was love.load so when you say function so like if we just said function on here and then we put something right there whatever's right there is the name of the function so in this case it's function and then the name of the function is love.load by the way, you didn't have to type that. And um, so love dot. Whenever there's a love dot in the name of a function, it's a pre-made function. And then load. Uh, so it's love dot load. This is what this function is going to be doing is loading the game. And then parentheses parentheses. The reason for that, it's inside of there. If we need anything, it would be something called an argument. And I'll explain that a lot in the future. But just know that every function has to have two parentheses, one opening and one closing. And and then space, 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 end. And the reason it ends, let me explain this real quick. So, in here, what Love2D is going to do, if we ran it right now, which we don't have to, but if we did, it would say, okay, where's main.lua? Because I have to find that first. Okay, what's inside of main.lua? There's a function called love.load. Oh, wait, I made that function, so I know what it does. And then we go, okay, let's read through here and see what they're lo and see what's inside of here. And it'll read... Well, let, let me explain some first. Sorry. Um, anything that is between, in between, function love.load, in between this line and n, is going to be what the function does. It's, yeah, exactly. It's going to be what the function does. So love 2 d is going to be reading through here and kind of going to kind of like match whatever's inside of here to this. And so what it's going to do is it's going to read through here. But the thing is, we have to make sure it doesn't just read through here forever. It knows where the function stops. It needs to stop reading it, otherwise our computer would freeze. Um, so you tell it to stop reading through by saying end. And everything in Love2D, will you'll have to end it, except for variables and some other exceptions, but I'll ex explain that in the future. So, just to recap. Function, love.load, so the name of the function is love.load, parentheses, I'll explain that later. And there's nothing in it, so it does nothing yet and then end, so it doesn't read through forever. Okay, so that's the first function, and now we're gonna have to make a function called function love.update. And if you're really awesome, you'd pause this right now and try to make function love.update, just as we did this. Um, just keep it empty in the middle if you are freaking awesome like that. But, okay, so we're gonna make it, so function, space, and then the name of it, which I just said, love.update, parentheses, and then space, 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 and, uh, let me, Describe something real quick. Uh, any the the enter the the lines. Sorry, the 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 lines. Really, it doesn't matter how many there are. There are. There could be as many lines up here as you want. There could be as many down here, down here. It's just whatever's more eligible, whatever's easier, whatever more organized. It could even be ones right here, since that isn't part of this. It could just be as many as you want. I kind of like to keep those touching though, at least in main Dalua. Doesn't matter, it's whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so function loves uh, update. What this does is it kind of sets everything into motion. If you've ever heard of frames per second, that's kind of like what this is. Um, but yeah, so I'll explain that a little more in the later tutorials. It should all make sense in the later tutorial, in later tutorials. Um, 
And then the last main function that we're going to need to use is called love.draw. So if you couldn't guess what this is, what this does, um, it displays images on the screen. Uh, this you need to use. You one thing you gotta remember not to do ever while using Love to D is try to draw something inside of Love Update, or try to do math inside of Love Draw. But I'll probably be saying that a lot more and explaining it a lot more in a later tutorial. But for now, I'm just gonna recap real quick, just kind of like explain what all these do. For the most part, don't type what I'm typing. This is just kind of like for an example. So in love.load, we'd say, okay, load a player. So there is a player. Load it. And then inside of love.draw, we'd be like, okay, draw the player. And then inside of love.update, we'd be like, move the player right. So love2d would go through. It would say, okay, where's that main dollar? At? Okay, function love.load. There's a player. Okay. Now I know there's a player. Move the player to the right. Okay, the player's moving right. And then draw the player. Okay, I'm drawing the player. So, that's just basically a basic, super... There's nothing in it yet. Just kind of like a skeleton of a Love2D game. In the future, and actually probably the next tutorial, we'll be starting to toss in some organs to the skeleton and give it life. And, yes, hope this helped. Rate, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Find me on the Love2D forums. Baconhawk A7X. Um... Hope this helped.